Hello everybody, Michael Biardi here at www.touchuppaints.com.au uh, We've got this, uh, this vehicle's been brought into us <clears throat> that had a paint scratch on there, a single uh, key scratch. It was just a single key scratch which had gone all the way back to uh, the primer. And uh, he's brought it in today, uh, well yesterday rather, to have this uh, touched up and see uh, if we can uh, make that a lot better than what it was. So there's one here, there's one down here as well, and there's one on the boot. I'm going to show you how to do this one here. Now what we did was, the first thing that we did, we, we uh, sanded that scratch before putting any paint on it. We sanded it with a hard block, a hard rubber block, and uh, 1500 wet and dry with water. We dried it off, and then we uh, we got this kit here, uh, which is at our website. This is uh, a paint scratch kit, BTKW37, and it's got all the bits and pieces in there that you're going to need uh, to maintain your paintwork on your car. Um, but for this instance, and only this instance, we've also uh, uh, got this uh, pen, which we've mixed up the colour for this uh, previously. Uh, these can also be bought at our, uh, at our site, uh, the pen, plastic pen. Now, uh, what we did was we just shook it up and we put the paint on right in the middle of the scratch. We discharged the paint and we ran it along the scratch. We le we've left that dry. Um, overnight now and it's nice and hard and what we're going to do now we're going to sand that uh, section there again now with 1500 again and we're going to sand the top of that off and then we're going to try and polish all that up and uh, try to make that scratch reasonably invisible by using this technique now keep in mind this is a, uh, a solid color which is a one coat application it's two layers one coat so <clears throat> what we'll do now is we'll just grab this, this hose here. I like to use the hose on a slow trickle and we'll just sand that up and uh, we'll uh, try and fix that. So perhaps I should have just showed you the scratch uh, before I start sanding there just so you can see what it looked like. We'll just take that off there. And I'll just zoom in so that you can see that. Okay. That scratch there. You can see it's been sanded and that's why it looks kind of whitish. And that black line that you see is where we actually put paint into the scratch. So I'll just bring that back to where it was so that you can watch the procedure and how that's done. Sorry about that. I'll just get this going again. Now what I should have done before I started was mask my parts, my surrounding parts. You always need to mask your surrounding parts when working with sandpapers and tools. Uh, if you don't, you risk damaging them and it uh, really can be a shonky job if you do it like that. You can scratch them and you need to try and get the scratches out. And the best thing is to just put a bit of tape on there, like so. An automotive tape, which is uh, semi resistant to water, it won't stick or leave glue there. So we'll just sand this up now. Now the idea is to try and level that paint, that mountain of paint that we've put on there. Now we don't want to sand too much because we'll end up going through the paintwork and you'll see the undercoat uh, on the good paint that we haven't uh, repaired. So we'll just take it a bit easy there. You've 
got to be careful because it's quite easy to uh, ruin this, uh, this paint on this panel. Now you've got to rub it and then check it. If you don't check it, you'll rub through. Now what you're looking for is a level paint edge. So the paint that you put on uh, becomes uh, level with the paint that's there. And that's what the sanding does. The sanding cuts that paint that we put on, cuts it away. See that there is looking pretty good. That's almost disappeared there. So we should be able to just maybe buff that up. And uh, I can still feel it. It's still a little bit bubbly. It doesn't matter if it's got a little bit of a hubble on it. As time goes on, it'll cure completely and uh, just raise down a little bit of this. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to buff that up now and see what it looks like. I'm just going to get my apron. Yes, working with compounds can be quite uh, dirty, or messy I should say. So I'll just put my apron on there. Good to wear goggles as well, and I'm not wearing them in this instance. I'm going to get this. This is a G3 cutting agent, specifically designed for this kind of work. So we'll just put a bit on there like so, and we're going to use this twice. So this is a sponge buff pad, and uh, it doesn't leave any scratches. Pretty good. I tell you, that is just really, really uh, good. That's uh, almost gone on that scratch. That is unbelievable. Uh, I'm just going to uh, get my block and my water again. I'm just going to carry it just a little bit more because it's still just a fraction raised there, and uh, I'm going to get that looking pretty good. Now to paint this panel would ordinarily cost $350 to $550, $600, it's 
to paint that panel ordinarily by the time they take it off and they fix it all up. Uh, and this is a, a quite an effective, cost effective way uh, to camouflage, camouflage those scratches. And uh, as you can see, I'll give you a close up of that. That scratch is nearly gone. I'm amazed every time myself how good some of these scratches come out. So again, I'm just going to put some of this back on there and we'll give it another hit. so that we can make that whole panel look consistent. And uh, I'm just gonna give it a once more over here because it does need two, approximately two uh, cut and polishes with this agent uh, to get those scratches completely out uh, before we paint seal that. I don't need to do the whole guard again because I've given that a quick once over. I'm just gonna do the repaired area uh, to bring that up to a real fine finish.
do that. I'm just going to get my uh, automotive top coat polish. Uh, actually, we'll use this paint sealer. This is a paint sealer. Um, I could use the polish, but I will use this sealer. We just spray a little bit on there. Uh, oh no, this is the wrong one, sorry. Okay, now in that kit, just use this cloth here and this paint sealer. The other one was the uh, upholstery protector. So we're just going to wipe that down. Ordinarily I'd wash the car first, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it quickly. Uh, so it's that, uh, just to cut a bit of time down so that you get the idea as to what's going on and what should be done. So we can take this off now. We don't need that. We just clean that up. That is just looking sensational. That there is a fantastic repair job. That's an A-grade repair job as far as brushwork and paint pens go. Uh, you won't get a better technique. We don't believe anyway. This is the most superior technique that uh, we've seen and uh, we use. As you can see, that's come up magical, absolutely magical. Now, there are other patches, uh, which I will fix uh, as I go along. There's just not enough time in this video to do the whole tree. So I'll just show you this one, just to show you what that looks like. A 2K solid paint uh, single key scratch repair. That's what I just uh, fixed. I'll just wipe that down. Give it a bit of a wipe over. Make it nice and tidy. Okay. Now I've just let that flash off for a minute, that wax, and then just take off that dry residue wax there, leaving that panel. Most people would, would have walked past that scratch and gone, oh, another vandal job. Uh, now they'll walk past the repair panel and I doubt that they'll even see that. So just have a look. I'll give you a close up of it. See, isn't it? It's come up very well. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, there are many, many services that we do here at touchuppaints.com.au, uh, including uh, selling all the paint kits uh, that uh, people need to fix. Uh, different types of scratches uh, and uh, you can buy those paint kits online like I said at the beginning of the video at touchuppaints.com.au um, anyway just stay tuned and uh, we'll be fixing different types of scratches for you we've, we've made this video as a tutorial for you to use uh, that machine I was using you can buy a cheaper machine uh, down at the Bunnings warehouse uh, they're rather cheap down there the sponges we sell here, uh, you can buy them online, and the creams, of course, you can buy here. Uh, all the products are available here, bar the, uh, the machine. And uh, with this tutorial, you should be able to do a similar sort of thing, uh, you know, as that. You're, you're going to need to practice it first, of course, uh, but once, uh, once you've practiced it, um, you, you can get that sort of result. Anyway, uh, stay tuned, and thank you again.